The main climate change effects that we're seeing here at Wick and Fen are obviously in the weather and the temperatures. We're seeing much milder winters and quite often dry summers and this is having a big impact on the wildlife which we manage here. So although Wiccan is a fantastic positive in relation to climate change because it creates space for species that need it, the thing that worries me is the fact that this space is limited. There's an increasing pressure from housing development and so many things that create a lack of space for wildlife. My concern is that we have more spaces like Wick and Fen and more of Wick and Fen so that the wildlife can spread out and has that space to adapt to changing temperatures and changing climate. On some of the wider parts of the reserve that we've recently acquired, it's a case of enabling wildlife to colonise them. And so that involves grazing livestock. And we've introduced here highland cattle and conic ponies, and they help to shape the landscape here. So we have to look after those and ensure they have as wild and comfortable a life as possible so that they create this fantastic mosaic of habitats on the reclaimed land. In order to ensure the Fenland habitat, we have to add water too, and we do that in the winter months. Literally overnight from adding water, we get a whole raft of different wildfowl species move in. Lots of ducks and geese that uh, really benefit from what we're doing here and create a fantastic atmosphere. So the soil here at Wick and Fen is uh, very old because it's decomposed plant material, and that creates a very rich peat, we call it peat soil, and this is very important because it's actually a carbon store. If it gets exposed and eroded into the landscape, that is a negative. But the work we're doing here to keep it wet stores that carbon and therefore stops it from going into the atmosphere. And so that's having a benefit towards combating climate change. <laughs>